Now, we didn't want to stop there. So we're assisting the ankle, but clinicians across the board say, yeah, well, the ankle is the ankle. What about up the chain? And we're like, okay, let's, let's humor them a little bit. Let's look up the chain, even though we're assisting the ankle, we know it's gonna have an effect up the chain, let's show them that it actually will. So we looked at circumduction, hip hiking compensations. So these are, um, these are very common compensatory strategies that people post-stroke and other neurological diagnostic groups adopt to compensate for their impaired uh, paretic limb function. Circumduction is they see out, the foot goes out to the side and forward in order to clear the ground. And hip hiking, they use the hip muscles and the trunk muscles to lift that entire foot up off the ground. And you can imagine if you try this at home, it's very costly. It takes a lot of energy to use these hip muscles, these large muscles, to move the limb out and up when it should just be moving forward. Okay? And when you look at these two variables, with the exosuit powered here in red and unpowered here in gray, you can see that, uh, at least for this one individual, it's about half the reduction, so the seeing out, the circumduction, is cut in half. On average, across the seven people, we saw 20% reduction. And the hip hiking, this is how high it goes up. It's reduced when you power it on, on average, about 27% across individuals. So although we're assisting the ankle, we see positive changes up the chain, all the way up to the hip and the trunk. This has been a highlighted clip from Rewalk's Topics in Neuro Rehabilitation web series. To watch the full episode, please go to the Rewalk Robotics YouTube page or visit the link in the comments below. See you next time.